Okay, so to make your own pie dough, you're gonna need some flour, of course. And right here, I'm just using all-purpose flour with the salt mixed in, and I'll leave the ratios down below. You're also gonna need some unsalted butter cut into little cubes so they're easier to put in our food processor. I have some ice water in a separate container and then an extra measuring cup that I'm gonna pour it into so I can make sure it's super cold. And then here I'm just using my food processor and woof, <laughs> there goes the flour right in. And you're gonna to wanna to add your butter in as well. And you're just gonna blend that until it comes together nicely. Okay, so now if you look at it, you can see how the butter has really combined with the flour and it's making almost kind of like these little pea sized shapes and that's exactly what you want to happen. Okay, so now we're just gonna take some of that really cold ice water and we're gonna pour in half of the amount that it asks for in the recipe. So that's around a fourth of a cup, but you could even go for less because depending on where you live, you might need more or less water. So it's always better to start out with less. And you can see here that dough has come together really nicely and it's really combined. It's still a little bit flaky and you don't want it to be too wet because otherwise your crust won't be as flaky. So here we have our saran wrap and all we're gonna do is just cut that dough in half so that there's gonna be two discs to go in the refrigerator and we're just gonna wrap it up and we're gonna let it rest in our refrigerator for at least a half an hour. To learn how to use this pie dough and make some really cute mini pies, check out the link below. Thanks for tuning in to Megan Makes Cupcakes and we'll see you again next time.